Well, here's a quick review. Gidster's corn pasty. Let's see what this tastes like. It's vegan. What's going on on the back? Oh, there we go. Combined golden baked pastry, blah, 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 blah. How do I cook it? Quick. Oven, 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 oven. We're heating instructions. 160, 25 to 30 minutes. Wow. Oh, oh, 15 to 20. I'm not frozen. Cool. Let's get it on. So there it is. Uh, I don't like this new type of puff pastry that Ginsters use because, to be honest, it's not really a pastry pastry, is it? That is a sliced pastry with a crimping pattern added to it. That is not a pasty. It even has a seam around the back. There, see? Not a pasty. Ta-da! Here it is out of the oven. Oops, throwing a plastic bag there a little bit. All right, let's put it on a plate. Pop it open and see what we've got. Should never do what I just did. Hmm. Crispy filio pastry. Hmm. Check. Nice smell. Check. Hmm. Pastry is too dry, not as nice as the meat field one, but the, the everything else about it is quite good. The um, the actual taste of the pasty is not bad, considering it's got no meat in it. The meat substitute actually tastes like a pasty. That might be because Ginster's pasties don't have very much meat in to begin with. Who knows? Well, I'm going to go off and eat this. I'm giving it about, compared to a normal Ginster's pasty, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. As a food like this, it's a 3 or 4 out of 10. But mind you, Gister's pasties only score five. So there we go.